Okay, uh, welcome back to this lecture on dynamic meshes moving bodies. So let's move to the second tutorial. So the first one was related to uh, uh, to sliding meshes and MRF. This one is pro properly now to prescribe motion. No? We're going to prescribe a motion differently from that rotational motion no? that when you have axial symmetry. So basically this consists in this, as you see in this animation, is just putting the body into motion or no? translational motion can be also rotational it can be arbitrary motion okay so you just can select the the wall whatever and apply the the prescribed motion there are many options in open phone it's up to you to pick up one okay and also you have the body motion that is the next one okay that is the, the the body will move in response to external forces so let's see what happens here okay how to do the case again we need to go to this dictionary constant dynamic mesh but instead of selecting this sliding mesh now we select a different type of motion that you have here in the description so as you go in into this case see that you select your library motion library motion solver so here you select the type of displacement how you want to to propagate the deformation in the mesh so see that what you are doing here is just propagating this deformation in the mesh okay so basically that is what you choose there there are different options it's difficult to tell which one is the best one okay however i think this one that i'm putting here in this size is places laplacian is the one that gives the best results but it's up to you to to pick up one remember that you can go source code phone info stuff like that or you can put here now use the banana method means spell something and you will see all the options available and different motion solvers that you have will have different entries so in this case we're using this method not the diffusivity we use this mesh motion method inverse distance and we apply it to a, a body a cylinder you can have multiple bodies okay S then remember that in the, this specific one displacement replacement will ask for this additional library, a uh, boundary condition. Okay, so if you forget to put it, remember that open form will complain and will let you know, okay, you get, you need to give it this information. So zero point displacements, okay, and here's where you actually so here you enable the library, how you are going to propagate that that mesh deformation in your domain, and here you apply the kinematics to the specific uh, wall or patch or surface boundary okay so in this case see that is the cylinder the one that i want to move you also will we use this one oscillating displacement so you know the location in the source code so you can see how to set up these options or you can use phone info as well so see that this way will ask amplitude the angular velocity and this is just dummy value for part of you okay so you just give the axis so it will move around this axis okay and this is your 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 omega the angular displacement okay so these are the options when a patch is not moving you put it fixed fixed value and it's not moving okay and then remember that in zero u velocity you need to apply this okay these are your boundary, boundary conditions have to be a moving wall velocity okay you can put here fixed value it will run but it will give you the results are not right okay you need to add moving wall velocity because this simply consists in adding that mesh velocity to the boundary condition okay so this is it okay for this setup and again you can check the 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 you can check the the kinematics so let me dynamic okay that was okay it was real. so you can check your kinematics uh before running and that's all okay so let's go here okay and as you go into dynamic meshes, you have prescribed motion. So see that you have different cases and I'm going to focus in this one. So it's the only thing that I, here, everything is the same. Okay, turbulence Mom modeling, multi-phase flows, whatever, all those physical models are the same. We just, we are just adding a new, a new input file where we select the library. And see that you put your options, select your body. Then you go into your boundary conditions and you have no files commented there is one so let me open the comment and see that uh oh actually there are no comments there so i need to update that so see that in you the wall that is moving you put it moving wall velocity and the rest of the boundary condition is a standard that like we have done so far 
then you go P standard as well that like we have done so far but this is a new one point displacement and if you add turbulence quantity it will be exactly the same a standard one nothing changed okay the important is that in U next to be moving wall velocity and here you apply you assign your your <clears throat> okay yeah, your boundary condition okay so you put it here and that's all then nothing new okay Pro let me go into control d the standard numerics and everything okay you have it there you can put your function objects and so on and sv skin sv solution so remember that this is a little bit more severe physics as always you, you need to push a little bit more your 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 numerics okay and sv solution is standard let me point out that in this case you're going to have a new one this entry so for the mesh displacement you are solving you not know, the laplacian equation to, to to propagate that motion so you need to add a solver for that one as well so in this case it's called like this but if you forget to add it again open form will remind you okay you need to add that and you have your standard auctions here and on the relaxation and that's all okay so let's go here and let, let's run this case here you have the the, the steps so here you're going to run the actual simulation so it's, it's time consuming okay and if you use this one move dynamic mesh okay it's going to put put the mesh into motion okay so there are two different dictionaries here this is for the solver and in the solver one see that you have all the function objects and this one, the end, dynamic mesh, is just to put it into motion. So let's put it into motion. Oscillating cylinder, and also to show you for an info. Okay, remember that you just, everything that when you see that I introduce any new stuff, just go out right ahead and use for an info. See that you have here the information, everything. Okay, not much. Okay, but you can go, for instance, uh, here a tutorial, or you can open this one, and there you will see more information. So use it. Well, it didn't give much as well. <laughs> then what else uh, we can see? So for instance, in constant, we can go into dynamic mesh. And like, let's see if Fauna Info is going to find something about this. Fauna Info, uh, Mesh Motion. Okay, so see that the solver, here you have the location. So this is one you can go there. Let me go to this directory and see that you have all the solvers here. So you have Laplace and solver. So do you have different solvers for that. So you have display, see displacement, velocity, component velocity. It's up to you to pick up one. But as I say, this displacement using the application, in my personal opinion, I think, is the one that is going to give you the best results. Okay, so bam 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 bam. Okay, let me close here. Let me open here. And let's run this case OF9. So simply let's run move dynamic mesh, okay? We w want to put the body into motion. It's doing the standard mesh. And see that now it's running and also it's running. See that it's giving you also mesh quality. Also when the simulation is running, it's going to report that, okay? So you have all that information there. And let's wait a little bit. It is done. Now that we have this, let's part of you part of them, part of you, whatever you want to use, apply. Let me visualize the mesh and as you press play, this is what you have. So see that you are propagating this deformation when the body is moving, you are propagating the deformation in your domain. Okay, so that is the, the scope of that motion solver. Okay, so there are different kinematics. Okay, so you can go here, let's just to show you point displacement okay so if you misspell something you have all the boundary conditions so see that you have angular oscillating displacement uh, velocity you have this that you can use to program your boundary conditions okay you have many of them 
implemented this probably but, 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 but you have tabular one i don't see here that probably is the most flexible one that you can use input tables and so on okay so this is it okay this is all up for setting cases now okay blah, 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 blah. for setting no moving bodies but with prescribed motion so here you have another case you can check but in this case we're putting the whole domain to motion so the idea is pretty much the same what is the whole body so at this point feel free to play with these options okay many of you might be interested in this but i i, I have to remind you that this is a very you no know, severe physics so things are are not easy you know putting this or getting solutions or also do not expect fast outcomes okay because you have a moving body so you need to advance your solution in time slowly to get an accurate and a stable outcome so that's all for this case thank you for your attention see you next video bye